Okay, so we're going to continue after doing our letter using mail merge. We could make this more beautiful and attractive. In a document, you can put an images. So this is now our next topic. We're going to integrate images and external materials in a document. Let us define first the different kinds of materials that we can use. We use here a picture. Images are uh, making the documents more beautiful and attractive. So we're going to discuss the first type of picture, JPEG. JPEG is relatively small in file size. So this GIF, this one, the one that is moving here, this is stands for graphic interchange format. This type of image file is capable of displaying transparencies. And this PNG also, uh, it was built around the capabilities of GIF. But their differences is this one, this GIF is moving, but PNG is not. But their appearances is almost the same compared to a JPEG. Because a JPEG uh, has a small in file size only. So if you have a small capacity of your storage, then you could use this JPEG. But if you have a large capacity of your storage, then you can use this PNG or GIF. Okay? So that's it for this picture types. And we also have this clip art. Clip art is generally a GIF type. So it is a line art drawing or image used as generic representation for ideas and objects that you might want to integrate in your document. The shapes is a printable object or materials that you can integrate in your document to enhance its appearance or allow you to have some tools to use for composing or representing ideas or messages. We also have this is smart art, this one also built in in our MS Word applications or other offices. Then chart is another type of material that you can integrate in your document. And of course, uh, you can create a chart that can integrate in your documents either directly in your MS Word or imported from external file like a Microsoft Excel. And so with the screenshots. And now we also use image placement. This image placement is a setting that is we need to do so that we can position our pictures to the document. And there are different positions of our images. First one is in line with the text. So in line with text, this setting is usually used when you need to place your image at the beginning of the paragraph. Later on, we will do this. A square also, it is used for inserting a place anywhere with the paragraph. Tight, this is almost the same as the square setting. But here, the text uh, hues or conforms to the general shape of the images. And through, the settings allows the text on your document to flow even tighter, taking the contour and shapes of the image. We also have this top and bottom. Uh, this is setting that pushes the text away vertically to the top or at the bottom of the image so that the image occupies a whole text line on its own. This behind text, this allows you to, to be dragged and placed anywhere on your document, but with all the text floating in front of it. And this in front of text allows setting your image to be placed right on top of your text as if your image was dropped right on it. So I will show you later on my demonstrations this different image placements.
and we will use of course the pictures and um, maybe a chart or a clip art. So that's it guys. Let us do the demonstration. Okay, so a while ago we already made this. We inserted a file from a spreadsheet going to this uh, application, this MS Word. That is using mail merge. And as you can see here, as we move this navigation keys, this mail merge is still functioning. So now, uh, what I'm going to do now is to enhance this document or this letter to look more beautiful to the receiver. So how to do that? As I've said a while ago, you insert an image so that your document looks more beautiful and attractive so how to do that of course we're going to insert an image so we're going to get an image that is related to our letter so of course if this is a letter then it should be related to the content so for example this is about uh launching of new product so, for example, we're going to get a product that we are going to launch in our company because we are inviting our customers so we could give them a sample uh, picture of our product. So, for example, let me see here some example. Uh, I will just use this as example, of course. Thank you for the Google for giving me this opportunity to save a picture. Okay, so credits to the owner, of course, for this picture that I'm going to get here. Uh, this is also a, this is only a sample um picture so i'll just copy this one for example then i will pay, place it in my letter so the picture is not yet there again i'll just copy image and then go to the word application in my letter okay let's see another one let's find for another picture the picture is still loading let's wait for this picture to load thank you for this uh picture credits to the owner okay let's say this one we're going to copy this one and then we're going to paste it in our Word application. So let's wait for my laptop. It's okay to function. Then you paste it here. Let's wait the picture to come out. Alright. Let's wait for the picture to come out. It's still loading. And that's it. Example. This is just the example. Okay. Credits to the owner. Now right click i uh, sorry you just resize this one to make it smaller but as you resize that the the text here are not in correct position anymore so what i'm going to do now is to use the image placement so that's the use of that so how to do that you just right click this picture and then click this one wrap text so I just zoom in so that you can see my instruction. Just click on this picture, right click, then wrap text. Then you choose it here. What placement of image do you like? So for example, I'm going to choose this square because I want to put this in this part. So that is the output if I'm going to choose a square. How if I'm going to use, use this type? So what will happen? So that's the difference between a square and a type. 
and how if I'm going to use true that's the difference also how if I'm going to use behind the text so this is the difference as you can see the text are in front of the picture already okay so you can place it anywhere so the text are not moving anymore so that's the difference between a behind text so you can place it anywhere in this document there is no movement of text but if you want to of course use the another image placement for example this one in front of text then the image will be in front of the text but you cannot see the text here anymore so this is not applicable for a letter the content should be in front now i'm going to use this one is square because for me this is more uh, nice to see this one for my letter so that i can place it here but i'm going if i'm going to place it here then it's okay because the alignment of the text is still there okay um you can position it here also okay nothing wrong with that but the sincerely or so the complementary clause are moving it's moving so you can resize this picture if you want to all right so if that is your desired positioning of your of your picture then that's the use of the image placement again how to do that just click on the image go to the wrap text then you choose on the different types of image placement. So it's up to you what is much better. You can see it naman. Alright. So for me, I will use this one. 